Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So, in our protracted series, the next topic is uh, how to configure the test suites. Okay. So, what is exactly a test suite? So, if you talk about in a normal uh, the functional testing, so it's not uh, we are not considering the automation testing. So, in functional testing, the test suite is nothing but it is con consisting of multiple test cases. Okay. So, you have uh, multiple test cases, and depending on the or grouping of the test cases uh, related to your functionality or related to your test like a smoke test sanity test so those categories are basically called as a test suite okay so so far we have seen in protractor that uh, you have to declare a specs uh, keyword under your conf.ts and then you have to mention the file path or basically the test case path where exactly your test case is there and then you open the your package dot json file and here we are giving that so protractor and comp dot js then it will run okay but uh, in real time scenario if you consider this one this case it is bit different because you might not ha be having only one or two test cases that you are going to run the automation testing there will be several uh, test cases like you might have uh, like starting from 100 to 500 test cases will be there so every time I mean running that 500 test cases at single shot will not be a possible scenario sometimes what happens you might be only executing the functional test cases or within this release functionalities only sometimes you might want to what you call uh, run the regression shoot only sometimes a smoke shoot only so depending on your situations you might want to run those test cases now protractor gives an option to declare your suites so that uh, so you can mention a categories and in that category you will be mentioning all the rela related test cases and then by using a suite keyword you can run the test okay so here in specs uh, so what happens you give the path of this uh, test case right so so you can have multiple test cases as well so let's say so i have so here what you can do like this also you can do specs underscore so we have calculator dot ts right calculator dot ts you can run this one as well so this is allowable and then in package dot json file protractor conf js means it will run both of these test cases okay or else even you can mention like this so let's say under your specs folder you have five to six test cases that you want to run and you need not to mention all those files one by one what you can do you can mention is start.js file start.js actually this one because it should be converted right so you can mention like this even here as well you can do that one okay so you can mention this one but here one problem is that you cannot categorize it every time you have to hard code it so which is not a good practice so for that reason protractor given you the suites concept by using the suites you can do that so let's try to execute that so for that what i'm going to do here under this test spec i'll create another file and i will say bank suite test just for a change because i don't want to execute everything i just wanted to show you how exactly we need to we run the test cases in in by using suites okay so what i will do here so so let me create a small test case here here what i can say it block and then i will say invoke bank application something i'm giving and then function and here i'll run that okay and here i will say browser dot get okay and i will give that url prop one dot site url fine i'm just running this one the same thing here i'll create a file calc dot ts and what i will do here
fine okay so i have now two test cases in two different folders okay one is your calc.ts another is bank test sorry not this one bank suite test.js ts file okay so now what i can do here i can rename it so let's say only bank.ts file okay so here what i can do i can go here and test spec bank.js comma specs slash calc.js i can do that but i want to show you how that switch works here so what you can do here like this and then colon and here you have to mention the categories so as i told there are two different ways to run so this switch we can make it one with respect to your uh, functionality so let's say that uh, i want to make only calculator related okay so here what i can do i can do like this and here i can mention that path so here what i can do this is under specs underscore here i what i can do start dot js i can do that okay so what it will do here it will only execute the specs under inside the specs whatever the what do you call fold uh, the test cases are there so calc.ts calculator.ds everything it will run but for now i will just run this one only okay and then comma and here so let's say bank okay bank colon and here as well the same thing dot here test spec slash bank dot js fine here also i can mention start dot js so what happens under test spec i have three test cases right so everything it will run so for now i am only showing the bank dot to js only so there could be a scenario so where you want to run both the apps okay so what you can do you can mention this both here like this fine you can mention like this now see you had a categorical here calc bank and both if you want to run together like this some see in real time scenario what happens you might have a smoke sanity and functional or you can have another one as regression and under that you can mention the multiple what you call javascript files or the your test cases path actually here okay and remember one thing one test case can be part of multiple suites like here calc.js is part of calc also and also both app also this is the same thing so let's say if you are uh, invoking a browser and uh, logging in functionality so that can be part of your regression part of your smoke sanity and even your functional also okay so that you need to keep it in mind okay so now how to run this one go to the package.json now i don't have any specs concept here it's all related to your suites only okay so now let's open the package.json and here what happens this test we have mentioned one script right so under this what we need to do we need to mention a keyword that is space hyphen hyphen and here it should be your suites okay under that you have to mention all your files or the keys that you need to mention so it should be e space then here you can mention like this so when you mention hyphen hyphen suite calc it will go here conf.ts file it will go under the suites and it will see calc so it will run only the calculator application only so let's try to run this one so let me run the p underscore dot bin and then web driver start okay and then i have to open a new terminal and just say npm test the only change is this one you, you have to mention the all the test cases under your suites and then give the key here hyphen hyphen suite and the key up or the what kind of suite you want to run and here just say npm test so here application is opening okay so it ran so fast actually so what i can do here i can put a wait here so that you can see browser dot slip okay and here let's put three seconds the same thing on the bank.ts file here browser dot slip and here also three seconds 
fine so now let's run again npm test and see how it is executing okay so here you can see it's opening your calculator up wait for three seconds and then close that's it okay now let's say you want to run both your calc and your bank also so you can do like this so here like in real time scenario smoke sanity both you can run or else smoke functional you can do that as well so let's see how it is running npm test so it's opening your calculator app then it closes and then it opens the bank application okay and then it will close as simple as that okay so here you can mention multiple suites here okay or else you can mention single suite and each suite can have multiple files okay so here even you can do like this as well so both app i think that one both app okay the same thing run it so this is giving you more flexibility in terms of uh, what you call running your test when you have vast number of test cases to run so de depending on situation you can run it okay so that is all about your suites how you can run it so here you can see the protractor gives uh, protractor itself is giving this one kind of what you call session where you can read that so it is possible to separate your tests in into various test suites so one test you can put it in various suites okay so like as i told you have two options either you can category with respect to your functionality so let's say if all the functionality that is related to your home page you can keep all those test cases under this okay and you will have let's say such or else you have a settings you have a theme or else you have some other functionalities so depending on the functionalities you can keep all the keywords and then you have to provide the path of the test cases there see each um, i mean one test case one suite can have multiple what you call your spec files and then when you go for so here what happened in package.json i have mentioned this one right protractor con js hyphen app and suite both have or the key here also they are giving this one protractor protractor con js in our case it is con js hyphen hyphen suite and then you have to keep the keyword that you mentioned here okay either you can have one you can have multiple okay so hope that is helpful so subscribe this youtube channel and stay updated with our upcoming videos okay thanks for watching